James Hyder for IFL TV in association with Matthews Gym or Bayer. I'm in the Collie and Moston Gym in Manchester. Collius and Moston. Collius and Moston yeah, yeah, Gym yeah. in Manchester. We'll get there in the end. With me, I've got Sean Ben Mulligan. How are we doing, Ben? Yeah, I'm good, thanks, James. How are you? I'm all right, I'm all right. Good, good. Proper old school gym, this, isn't it? It's like oh, yeah. sawdust on the floor type place. Yeah, it's proper, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I don't think since like since when Pat was fighting, I don't think it's changed much. I think the only thing that's changed is the office. Yeah. This was done a few weeks ago, so yeah. How, yeah, it's, how are you finding things here? Oh yeah, unreal. Yeah, uh, been here now for probably two years. Mm -hmm. But when I come, I was here for like a year and a half before Pat turned me pro, uh, and then I turned, made my debut in January. So. Yeah, everything's everything's going smooth now. Uh, I've been fight, fighting again in three weeks today. Yeah, so that that'll be your third fight. That'll be my third fight. That yeah. So yeah. the ball's really rolling and yeah. making good progress. Yeah. Well, see, like, like I said to the other lads, you've got a good crop of fighters coming through similar ages, so it must be good to have that banter and be oh, able yeah. to push each other in the gym. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, it's uh, like Collier's the most is getting back to what it was, you know, when Tommy was fighting and. The likes of Matty Hall, Mike Jennings and obviously Pat was obviously before that but uh, yeah it's great now obviously it's me, Zelfa, uh, Matthew Ryan, Gomez, uh, Lyndon he's on the GB squads so yeah it's totally you know the atmosphere in the gym is good and we're all learning off each other. I will see you chatting with Tommy McDonough earlier he's a bit of a hero of yours Tommy isn't he because he kind of was around just before IFL TV yeah, he yeah. was one of the fighters that a lot of us will know and watch Especially his uh, British and Commonwealth title fight with Anthony Small as well. Yeah. Yeah, he's a funny character, Tommy, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, clear. Tommy's just is probably. Can't meet a bigger character than Tommy. But yeah, everyone that sort of knows Tommy from when he was boxing, you know, like, you speak to people in here and that, that come inspiring, they say, like, just, he was a nightmare. He's just super talented and underachieved, probably, maybe faults of his own as well, you know, mm. not training as hard as he should have been. But yeah, Tommy Matt was. Just, Class. What are your aspirations then, mate? Well, like every fight off to get to the top. Uh, but obviously, I crawl before I can walk. So, you know, at the minute, I'm at the bottom of the ladder at the minute. And everything now is, is going how it should. So, just obviously, you know, what I win a British title and then go beyond that then. So, but, not, you know, not rush it. You mentioned that Tommy didn't live right. Is that something that you from kind of watching that experience gives you incentive to live right yourself throughout your career? Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, I lived a life 100%. Um, never had a drink ever. Uh, you know, I'm always in air training, so yeah, there's, there's no reason why. I, I believe I've got, a, you know, every fighter will say it, but the, the best team around me, in, in Pat, Paula, uh, uh, you know, it's like, with, with Pat, Pat is, He's, he's more of a teacher than a trainer, you know, he, he'll, he'll spend two hours slipping a jab or practicing a left up, do you know what I mean? And, but they're the things that get you to the top, don't they? So, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm confident I can, I can get there, definitely. You mentioned that being feeling as if you're just starting out at the bottom of the run. Obviously, Manchester's a great city, two fighters fighting for a world title back-to-back -to -back weekend, so... There's a huge boxing fan base and following to tap into it if you can keep on winning, isn't it? Oh, of course, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm proud. I'm, I'm a proud Mancunian. I'm proud to be from Manchester. Uh, all, look at all the great fighters that have come out of this city. So, you know, hopefully, like you say, with two Teddy Flanagan fighting tomorrow, Crawler next week, you know, two world champions in Manchester and, and more and more then, you know, myself and. You know, it's, it's been a bit quiet. We, we, it's not quiet, but it's not really been since Hatton. And it's not been since the three amigo days, maybe. That's it. Yeah, it's been a bit sort of quiet. You know, it's mm. sort of a lot of it's been a bit of limelight in Liverpool. So mm. it'd be good to to, to get uh, the big nights back at the MNA Arena you know, as well. Well, uh, safe to say this weekend, Flanagan taking on Zabid, a massive night. As well as Connor in action, topping up massive bills well next weekend. So all in Manchester, so hopefully it's good oh, things for the future for us. Of course city, it is, yeah, like you say, it's only good for the city and you know, uh, I'm rooting for the both of them. I just really hope they do it. Alright, well listen, thanks. Give me a bit of time, Sean Ben, mate, and I'll catch you again real soon. Thanks very much, James. Thanks, mate.